this is obviously something that's been developing for a few days now um the very influential and famous well-known um, makeup artist on youtube james charles is admits to messaging underage boys 16 year old boys is basically admitted to it in his now famous uh second round of apology video where he's got this sort of quasi bird nest haircut planted on top of his head it says the following um beauty youtuber james charles has admitted to sending sexually explicit messages to two 16 year old boys he says in the video i fully understand my actions and how they are wrong he said the 21 year old said which we forget in it he's 21 years old actually and it's all this stuff about being a child and being a kid and not knowing good from you know not knowing right from wrong especially when you consider that the amount of time he's been in the public eye and doing stuff within social media space he's you know he knows the rules he knows what, what what you should and shouldn't be doing on these platforms but hey it continues um allegations against charles first emerged on social media earlier this year in february the influencer who has 25 million subscribers on his youtube channel was accused by one teenager of grooming which charles denied saying he flirted with the person because he believed the boy was under eight to be 18 <laughs> charles denied the previous allegations but in a thursday video titled holding myself accountable he admitted the wrongdoing he says that there were two instances one last year and one more recently but i think it's actually 17 if you go on that deaf noodles um twitter account who's like a um what is he he's sort of like a youtube influencer narc in it right he's the one that's sort of like tell tell he's like the whole monitor the whole monitor kind of it's mostly to do with wrongdoing it's not that bad but it still seems a bit strange that there's this guy that's spending his entire life cataloging all the misgivings and wrongdoings of these um of these kind of very well protected um youtube influencers who kind of are incapable of doing anything wrong even when it's something to do with you know breaking the actual law uh, and there's this adult that's all spending his time chronicling all these misgivings and i guess making himself the enemy of most of these youtube influencers and also an enemy of the fans because i would imagine a large portion of james charles fans probably don't want to hear this right they just want to watch the makeup videos um follow him on snap and tiktok continue dancing with him and banging his flipping palace they don't really care about all this stuff which is the, f the actually the most concerning part of it is that the only people that are actually pushing to get this guy quote-unquote cancelled are people that aren't fans of him his actual fans don't care they really don't care they if he puts out content tomorrow and he just continues collaborating with people as per normal which he probably won't because you know most of these guys don't have any backbone and if he gets accused of what he's accused of they just you know avoid him until the the heat kind of dies off and then they'll all refollow him again as they always do um that's what happened the first time around if i remember correctly right everyone kind of unfollowed him on social and as soon as he kind of came out with that video with receipts sort of debunking the claims everyone sort of refollowed him again so it's just a funny situation in general to look at it continues he said these conversations should never happened charles said in the 14 minute video he admitted that he could um have searched for them on social media platforms and found their real ages <laughs> the funny thing also about this is that imagine if this was women if this was girls instead of guys right like this situation would be far more egregious but the fact that it's dudes it kind of then proves again the double standards like no one really cares about the safety of young guys on you know on these social media sites the young teenage boys actually right children no one really cares about their safety and what they're being exposed to but if it's t if this if these were teenage girls like the people would be going absolutely ape shit. Uh, but as it uh, but as it is, I guess people just, you know, are gonna just keep it moving. He continues to public apologize to the boys and said that he would take time away from posting on social media to educate himself about these issues. <laughs> What's that to educate yourself about, mate? You're twenty one. Just don't try and fondle 16 year olds in it that's pretty easy mate he continues i'm desperate the scandal is not the first time the beauty influencer has faced controversy in 2019 he was accused of using fame and money to try and manipulate someone's sexuality which which you would imagine a lot of people would do when they get fame and money right part of the part of the appeal and part of the draw and part of the reasoning to go out there and achieve things to stay in fairly good shape and to groom yourself well and wear expensive clothes and put on really you know fabulous fragrances would be to <laughs> it's manipulate people's for their sexuality right that's exactly what some people do out there especially in hollywood i would assume so so he's only just following tradition right it, it, it's a bit it's a bit crude it's a bit you know horrendous and it probably leaves a bit of a sick taste in the back of your throat but it really is what it is like you know there is a story the long history of people manipulating young impressionable um people that come into the industry with their fame and their money it just is what it is and some people are willing to you know to take part in that you know somewhat faustian bargain it continues um da -da -da -da. when addressing why he has been reckless in past relationships he said that it's because that he's desperate 
<laughs> Imagine getting on social media, having to apologize because you want to keep all your brand deals and then having to admit to anybody that you're, you're the reason why you're messaging 16 year olds is because you're just too horny, right? You're just too, too horny. And this is, this is also somebody that looks like, from what I see so far, this looks like somebody that doesn't drink too much and doesn't use that many drugs. And he's already this thirsty. Imagine when he finally discovers the beauty of drowning your sorrows and, you know, comforting yourself psychologically through a bottle of, you know, brown liquor and through some class A substances. Imagine how, how bad he will be at that point. He's bad enough as he is sober somewhat, right? Indulging in what? Donuts and stuff. And what's that steak restaurant they all go to? Um, I don't know, whatever. One of these places, right? Yeah, Charlie's, Quintin's. always called someone's name. These kind of clandestine little bistro restaurant places that they all go to. He can't take pictures. Um, and he, imagine, he's, he's horny like this and he doesn't even do meth. He's not on coke all the time. He's not drinking, flipping 1942 every night. It looks like, I you know, don't really follow the guy too much and he's already this horny. Imagine once he suddenly then discovers, you know, the life of uh, the debaucherous few and gets involved in that. He's going to be, he's going to be a monster. Like if he's not one already, it continues. Um, in the video he made addressing to in 2019, he said, um, Charles made a promise that he was became more careful moving forward. The promise is that why he's got these like um lock and key little earrings in, right? This is my promise to you, my friends. I love it. And the YouTubers are always so funny, man. These influencer types, isn't it? The white background, the non makeup, the hair, like he just come out of bed. I'm taking this seriously, and it's again, it's. It, it's disingenuous because you know most often more often than not they're only doing this number one to maybe get in front of a media story rewrite the narrative um maybe just to make sure that they don't lose all their brand deals but it's never come it's never really for a uh it's never really come from a point of um uh moral or ethical reawakening it doesn't really come from that right it's not that they just they thought oh no man what i did was actually fucked up i need to atone for my wrongs and tell my friends that i'm a changed person you know because you don't really tell people that you've changed you you know your actions should prove it um but they i, I do like how how sort of um disingenuous it is from the outset like they don't try and pretend that they're doing this because they are actually sorry they're only doing this because they got caught and they don't want to keep losing money effectively right they got brand deals that are effectively paying for their hidden hills mansion somewhere wherever they're living and allowing them to go on trips to turks and caicos they don't want that to go away so the only way to prevent it not to go away is to get in front of the camera and basically bear all quote unquote it continues but as time progressed he says in his most recent video he began and ignoring red flags again <laughs> a red flag would probably be when you're and again i don't use tiktok too often right but whenever you do do go on tiktok especially on the feed when you first open the app they curate it in a way so that you do get to see and consume the content that they want you to see which generally you know kind of skews on the young side of things right so you see loads of young guys and boys dancing and doing little comedy skits or whatever it may be and if you spend enough time on there and you like enough of the right things quote unquote you end up in this weird rabbit hole where everybody that you will be crossing across coming across your feed will look like they're at most 19 at most right some of them of course might look a little bit younger than what they actually are if you're you know you're, if you're clever with the makeup tricks and you make sure you don't have any facial hair you can fool most people but you can tell when somebody's young it's just easy to basically see especially when they're shamelessly flaying around doing some really horrendous dance quote unquote in the middle of nowhere right it just you, you know that only a child would think that would be cool to go and prop a camera up outside of a you know walmart car park somewhere and do the fucking renegade right only a teenager would think that's a cool idea to do so to sit there and say you were ignoring red flags there's red flags all over the app right especially if you're old enough you feel gross watching or flicking and going through some of the videos because they're all these like again young teenage guys and boys in very tight clothes jumping around in front of a camera dancing seductively and you know unless you're of the same age range it should make you feel a bit weird <laughs> so i don't know what sort of education of red flags he sort of is talking about but hey it continues he ended the video by vowing to be more cautious in the future and stop treating social media accounts as dating apps and i don't really understand again maybe it's the app itself but is I would assume there's quite a few young looking uh, I, I guess i'll assume the kind of guy that jeremy charles is into he could find them that person on tinder he could find that person on the grinder or something right i'm sure there isn't there there's an app for social media influencers called um raya right i'm sure you could find somebody on there like why doesn't he use those kind of things why is it 
why is it um why is he always getting caught out on the social media apps because it doesn't seem like he's creeping on people on the dating apps it seems like it's mostly coming through the all access social media app things which makes sense i guess and it may be the untapped potential or most of the QEs, quote unquote, which is disgusting to say, exist on these social media apps because they are not old enough to be on the dating apps. <laughs> that would be one of the red flags, which is flipping hilarious if you think about it, right? That he's saying, oh, um, I need to be more careful and do more research, but he's only doing the research on the social media apps because he's more, he knows he's likely to come across people who are underage, allegedly, I'd assume, who knows? It continues accusations and admissions of sexual misconduct by youtubers have become more and more common in 2019 youtuber justin jones channel after admitting it's james that is david dobrik and of course bloody blah 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 but yeah what's going to happen to the guy going forward probably nothing again um as we've seen in days gone by and in years gone by with other big youtube creators and influencers for the most part if their fan base is big enough and they kind of give less of a shit about what the general public think about them they should be okay um maybe that's where um james charles will end up kind of faltering it does look like he actually cares about the opinion of the general public as opposed to someone like a jeffree star who seems to basically not really give a shit about what anyone says no amount of op-eds or revelations or exposure pieces are ever gonna make him sort of change what he's doing he's just gonna keep continuing doing it because his fans kind of continue do continue backing what he makes and you know it is what it is and like i said previously i'm not really a fan of you know the industry wide or yeah industry yeah industry whatever wide um cancel culture thing that people do i'd still be a fan of mostly your your actual fan base deciding whether or not you should have a career or not that should how that should that should be how you basically um succeed or die right um your fans build you up and if they decide that you've kind of you know overstayed your welcome or the things that you're doing are beyond reproach then they can then decide to cancel you by stop watching your stuff and kind of you know all i'm subscribing that's fair enough but these kind of big corporations coming in and sort of basically putting you in a corner where you can't feed your family because they feel like they've been shamed into doing so not because they actually feel morally affected or ethically affected by what you've done is not really for me so if james charles wants any advice you should probably look at jeffree star in terms of who to follow if he doesn't care uh, if he does care maybe take the david dobrik approach and just go Go silent for a bit um you know use the silence as a time to educate yourself and learn and uh recalibrate what you want to do in the world and all that malarkey that could be a way to do things that way um there's quite a few options there but it's just hilarious that no one really cares in general because it's boys right if this was girls this situation would be far worse because you know a 21 year old boy mentioned you know continuously mentioning continually men messaging i can't my words get messed up there 16 year olds is f weird in it but it's also kind of strange too that nothing actually happened from why i'm if i'm if i'm um being correct here right it's just messages right it's just kind of um sexting and stuff whatever but nothing actually happened in real life which is an odd one i guess it depends on the state you're in I'm assuming some states have some real, some very strict laws about messaging people underage and also about sexting, blah, 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 blah. But if nothing actually happened in real life, should your career be thrown out of the window for that completely? I don't know. But then again, you know, it is a bit strange that a 21-year-old uh, constantly wants to be around kids of that age. Like, I know what it was to be 21. I know what it was to be 16 and 18. And, you know... I, I didn't really have a lot of friends in my friendship group who were boys who were 16 or 18 when I was 21 because they were insufferable right you just didn't want to hang around the kids that young it's just too much so I can't imagine what it must be like to be in a romantic relationship with somebody that young especially when you're someone like a James Charles and you've you know so accomplished so much money so much fame like what are you actually getting from that relationship I don't know but um hey this is way above my pay grade and i hope it gets sorted for everybody involved i'm still a bit you know i i'm not really a bit i'm not that comfortable with seeing accounts like death noodles essentially just destroying people's careers overnight and kind of take you know getting all these old clips and putting them together and make you look like a monster but maybe in some cases when it's like this you might have to intervene right um and kind of put an end to these sort of things just in case it gets too serious because as much as i said you know it was only text messages you don't want this to go unchecked so that it continues on and then it ends up being something that ends up negatively affecting someone's life forever and you know no one would forgive themselves if that kind of happened so that might make complete sense in that regard